when COVID started uh, um, flowing through the countries early in March, we did see our customers, and we mainly operate in food and beverage manufacturing industry, were impacted. COVID was very new, so people didn't know how to react or what the new reality will look like. It was actually pretty bad for us, uh, someone in the travel industry. Uh, all of a sudden, almost all our users evaporated. So when COVID uh, hit uh, last March, we had an early MVP on the market and our first reaction was rather impulsive, emotional. COVID affected us because we are not able to travel around the world. We set up projects and ship machines to over 42 countries in the last year. We were not really impacted by the COVID crisis as our activity is by nature thriving in these difficult times. But I have to admit that we did slow down a bit during the summer months. When the first wave of Corona hit Germany hard and led to a lockdown in March, um, a lot of my friends who run restaurants or clubs told me that they will not be able to keep the situation for long, that they had to close down. What we see, however, is that our customers who build hardware are quite affected. So we're helping those customers to actually digitize their engineering to make sure that even people working from home office can efficiently collaborate. We offered the product for free for a limited time to the families because we really knew how difficult it is uh, without being without uh, professional support at home with the children who struggle. When you work from home, that, you know, how do we connect with each other when you work from home? How do we make sure that we still have that feeling of connectivity, uh, for example? So the first thing we did is we applied uh, and visited some events. Uh, among them were the EU versus virus hackathon organized by the EU Commission, which was a, a great uh, event. So I came up with the idea of creating a voucher platform on which all these spots that had to close down could sell vouchers so they would have some income and people could just buy vouchers and then after the lockdown go there and have their coffee or their beer or whatever. But on the other side we were able to adapt quickly because we were developing face shields. Those shields um, a lot of people are using above the mouth nose masks. So first of all, our focus been on our customers. What can we do? How can we help you uh, in providing new features and functionality to help you do your business in a very safe way? After a while, uh, people in travel uh, realized that uh, uh, you know, the, there will be some sort of new normal. Within six weeks, we were able to sell vouchers in the value of more than 1.5 million euros. And we had more than 2,700 places that were registered. In the last couple of months, we distributed the production kits to start producing face shields locally out of plastic waste in more than 10 countries. And around 70,000 to 80,000 face shields have been produced mainly in African countries. They realized that uh, a virtual guide, a digital guide, uh, like one that Smart Guide offers, is the perfect solution. We also prepared uh, some webinars, some online uh, content that would help parents uh, handle, uh, handle that. And uh, during these discussions, we figured out that we would uh, start to speak and sell to smaller companies. We fast-tracked several uh, feature developments to make sure we can provide our customers now through the platform with remote support for their workers, that they can create digital bodies to create shift planning um, that we've integrated uh, with several technologies that help remote monitoring as well. Uh, already uh, well, during the summer, we could see really increased demand for our service. For us, COVID meant, uh, of course, a struggle as, as a company in this uh, situation. We've actually been able to help quite a lot of companies to structure their processes in a way to overcome the repercussions of COVID right now. We find it important to speak to each other, to listen to the ideas of the others. When something like this comes in, you have to take swift action. More swift than you think you should do. If you struggle with your core business, it's important to create something that is good for society apart from your core business. If you truly believe in what you do, don't quit. Get up on your feet and look up and in front of you and never look back. 
because you have a responsibility to secure your business and uh, to secure the interests of your stakeholders and your shareholders. So I think in times like this, it's really critical that we know why we are doing what we're doing and that we dig into ourselves and get the fire burning. I think the most important is to keep your uh, company healthy physically and uh, you know, uh, spirit-wise. Keep up the spirits, continue work and take care of yourself. Uh, eat healthy, sleep enough and uh, not give in to stress. Take a step back and look what's really needed and how you can support the people around you. To talk to customers and very important to talk to colleagues what they have to say, what ideas they may have, whether they feel secure safe uh, in the company, um, how will it change uh, our mode of operation, both internally and externally. This is only possible if you're listening and if you're learning. I think it is very difficult to be smart in these times because nobody can really predict uh, what is or will uh, happen. Every startup is, in the end, a roller coaster. There's very good and very hard times. And I think the only way to get through it is to assemble a team around yourself that is driven and inspired and wants to achieve something together. And then what you have to do is to adapt to the circumstances. If we have this inside us, then basically nothing can stop us. Then we can adapt to the circumstances, then we can adapt to challenges around us, and with the right team around us, um, basically everything is possible. I have never felt the highest highs before, nor the lowest lows. And the switches between those have been very, very fast. This is a new situation and the faster you learn and realize and accept that this is a new situation and the faster you adopt to this situation, the successful you will be. How this pans out, no one knows, right? And, and bring your team on board with that. Uh, own it, saying, look, we're heading into something that no one has ever experienced before. We need all the creative creativity from everyone on this team on how to navigate the next year and how to build resilience into our own operation. And problems for an uh, entrepreneur are not something to whine about. These are opportunities. Problems are something to celebrate. If people have problems, that means uh, an entrepreneur can solve them. It doesn't matter what took you down. There is always sun coming after the storm.